Alright, what's going on guys? Trev back again, here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my throwback review for The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 7, which was called Pretty Much Dead Already. finally got the mustard to go ahead and uh, do the review for the episode after watching it. So I've been kind of on a kick lately, been watching some of season four over again, uh, just because I love it and haven't seen some for a while. Uh, season two is so far back, it's hard to kind of go back and start watching again because it's so different. Um, you know, from, from where we're at right now, the characters are so different. You have, you know, so many different ones. And uh, one thing I can say is when I watch those characters from season two, I really miss some of the characters. I really like some of the characters a lot. You have some really uh, important characters, some really standout characters, and it's kind of like the characters that were in the background earlier on have kind of come to the forefront. You have, of course, Carol's in there. You have Beth in the background who doesn't even get any lines. <laughs> she just stands there and cries. Stuff like that. You know, you had, of course, Herschel who was big later on as well, too. Um, but then in addition, you have Andrea who's really good at this time. I, I feel like uh, Shane, who's amazing to see. Uh, Dale, who's a lot of fun. You just have some really, really cool characters that I do miss seeing in the show. Uh, but that said, I mean, you know, that's The Walking Dead. You got to move on. There's new characters that come in, new characters that are exciting later on. But for this episode, we have a couple key focuses. Um, of course, you have the group. Essentially, the group is living in the farm, right? And uh, with Herschel, and they have a big disagreement. Herschel sees walkers still as people. He doesn't want to accept the fact that they're actually dead. And his wife, uh, I believe, is, is in the barn as well as other people that are important to him. Uh, and then, of course, at the end of the episode, there's the huge reveal after they've been looking for Sophia for so long that she's actually still, or she was actually in the barn the whole time, which was, to me, was a great ending to that sort of half season. Season. And um, even though it went on a little long, you know, in terms of them looking for her for a while, um, it, it was a big payoff to see her stumble out of the barn at the end of it. Uh, so, so one of the best moments in all the Walking Dead television series for sure, even to this point, one of the greatest. Um, so in addition to that, I mean, like I said, those characters, you even have Lori, her relationship with Carl and kind of how they, how they, you know, mother, you know, son type thing, which is, which is pretty great to see because of course we don't get to see that anymore uh, of course that's over uh, and then you have essentially Shane and, and almost more time is spent with Shane than it is with Rick in this episode and this time uh, which is really cool to see kind of a different character sort of it's kind of like a power struggle between him and Rick for the group and who is the leader of the group and who is making the decisions Rick wants to keep Herschel happy because they're staying at Herschel's land Shane doesn't care so much about that he's not really afraid of Herschel and he recognizes uh, how uh, dangerous the world is and uh, how dangerous zombies are especially when they're in packs and, and how deadly they can be so you have that. You've got Dale who doesn't agree with Shane. He hides the guns. You have Shane tracks him down. Really intense scene between them two. Uh, and then, of course, you know, so, some great dialogue in that one, too. You know, uh, Shane telling Dale that he's pretty much dead already. And then later on, what happens in the season, season two, of course. And, uh, you know, Dale telling Shane this is where he belongs. So then, of course, you, you, you have the big payoff. They get, they get back and you've got the shooting gallery, so to speak, at the uh, the barn when, when Shane sees Rick and Herschel kind of walking in with the uh, with the walkers they're using uh well the wa the, the the walker things they're using to lead the walkers and and, and he <laughs> I love his response what is that and then he just goes running down as fast as he possibly can and uh, starts shooting and you know basically you guys remember opens the barn up and just blast they blast them all down so um by today's standards even after a few scenes of the walking dead this is one of the best episodes, you know, aside from Too Far Gone, which, of course, had the big payoff because you have a tank, you have the prison, you have the war, you've got multiple character deaths, you've got explosions and all kinds of big things happening. Of course, that, you know, and, and a couple huge character deaths in, in the same episode with a huge payoff. Um, really crazy episode. With that being the best, this one right here, for me, is still the second best. And I did rank this as my second favorite uh, so far because... You have, and it's funny because it's so small scale compared to what they're doing later on, 
but yet it's shot so well. You know, there's even slow motion scenes like when when Daryl's shooting the shotgun, the slow motion as it kind of comes. The angles, you've got Shane, he walks up and he blasts the one, uh, you know, after Rick says that's enough. And he says, yeah, you're right, man, that is enough. And then he walks up and, and blasts the one walker that Herschel's got on the on, on the walker thing. Um, it, it's just, it's, it's so well done. It's so incredibly well done that it's funny to see and it, and it kind of shows that, you know, budget is not everything. You know, they can have tanks. They can have all this this amazing stuff and all that and, you know, awesome action sequences and everything. But, you know, the the writing and, and sometimes, you know, having things small scale like that with just a farm, you know, with a barn, like how cheap could that be in terms of for them to actually do it? And it, it because it's written so well, because it's acted so well, shot so well. Uh, and played out so well that it's you know one of the best they've uh, they've ever done. My opinion, second best they've ever done. So in terms of the score for this episode, I would give this one a perfect ten out of ten. I think it's a perfect episode, and it's better than you know pretty much any <laughs> TV series. I, I can't really think of payoffs like that in many TV series, and it sort of really takes that whole. Before this, Rick and Shane are kind of working together better, you know, and, and this kind of time. Once Shane finds out that Lori's pregnant and everything like that, this episode right here, we start to see a very uh, aggressive, overprotective Shane because, of course, like I, like I mentioned the other day in the pictures uh, video with uh, Carol and baby Judith, we don't know at that point, neither do they, whose baby it is. Is it Shane's? Is it Rick's? If you guys want to know more about that, you know, maybe we can do a discussion topic about that again for the TV series. For the comic book version, I have done a video of it. It's in the channel. If you want to search it, just use the search tool on the channel. You'll find it. Um, who is the father? So I won't mention it here. But uh, for the TV series version, we really don't know at this time. You know, some people would say yeah, it's definitely Rick's, you know. But based on timing and stuff like that, is it possible it could be Shane's? I think it is. So a lot of his behavior, you can see uh, in turmoil that he's having and his aggression could come from within, come from that, you know, uh, and, and kind of how he turns on Rick and everything like that, uh, even more so because of because of that as well. So there's a lot of things happening, even though in terms of environment, it's just a farm, you know, um, they just did such a good job with it. And even though we, we got through some slower episodes, the last few episodes that weren't the best, this one is as good as pretty much pretty much as good as it gets aside from too far gone that that did outdo it i must admit with the governor and everything but definitely an amazing episode a timeless one one of the best episodes of the walking dead ever if you have some time you love the walking dead you're waiting for it to come back on in uh, october you know i say go ahead and check this one out this is one of those you know you can watch this over and over again and just just love it you know and this type of episode really gets me into that season again where some of the earlier ones was like ah you know these are these are slow there's not much happening they keep looking for sophia now we get an episode like this that just absolutely kills it and uh, it's one of the best ever one of my favorites for sure and one of the best kind of reveals and 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 story arcs i think for the walking dead uh i have my, my have to reconsider my favorite character because i did say recently my favorite character now is daryl but for watching this again i don't know if i can say that still because shane shane was really ahead of his time in the series so maybe i'll do a character spotlight reflection on shane do another video with that later this week, even if nobody else wants to watch it, just for my enjoyment, because uh, I like to make these videos sometimes too. Uh, and he was such a cool character that, uh, you know, really ahead of his time. He, like like Dale said, you belong here now. He had evolved more to a zombie apocalypse world than anyone else uh, on that on that team or anyone else in that group. And uh, yeah, anyway, uh, if you guys want to see that video, let me know and I'll, I may do a character reflection on Shane. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about pretty much that already. I say watch it if you have time. You know, I know we're getting back to school, everything like that for people. Or, you know, it just could be busy with work or whatever. September's here, of course, which is commonly thought of as a work month where August and July are kind of vacation, thought of as vacation months. But, I mean, if you have time, you cannot go wrong with this one. Pretty much the best there is. So we'll see if any episodes in Season 5 are as good as this one. Uh, with the budget, with everything they got, you'd think they'd have to be. But... Will they have that emotional weight? Will they have those character dynamics that we had in this episode? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, if you guys like this throwback review and you want to see more, I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do the second half of season two yet. Uh, I may not. Uh, I may stop here. But 
because uh, sometimes I like to watch them, but I don't necessarily want to go to the trouble of doing the review and everything. So let me know what you guys think. If you want to see throwback reviews for the rest of Season 2, write in the comments below and let me know what you think about this episode. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'll see you for the next one. This is Trap, as always. Say in peace. What is that?